What is up rockers? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms content here, an update that you might like or you might not. So I'm Shinchi42. Today we're going to be talking about this update. So if you like to talk about updates about Rise of Kingdoms, definitely subscribe to this channel and turn that notification on. We mostly do Rise of Kingdoms content and yes, we are a sponsored content creator. Um, I want to let you know because I think I saw some messages on Facebook, some posts that were like questioning if I am or not. Yes, I am. I don't say this every single time in my videos as I have posted on Facebook. I mentioned I don't need to say this, right? It's on my um, about me on YouTube. I am not here to tell you that I am a sponsored content creator so that you would subscribe. I am here to just enjoy what I do, have fun and provide you information. And if you like me as a person, you want to subscribe. If you like an Asian man, you subscribe, right? If you like an Asian man, you subscribe, right? Anyway, let's talk about this um, update. It could be good, it could be bad. We're going to take a look into two perspective. Now, we're going to summarize this a little bit. What's happening in the equipment system is that after the update, they will take back all the unused equipment materials and compensate us with the material choice chest corresponding to the quality and quantity. If you don't know what the material choice chest is, this is going to be those that you have to pick for a certain type of material. Also, they move the materials as well. They put it on equipment now. So with the normal equipment crate, if I open this up, right, it's going to give me a bunch of different stuff. Now, the material choice chest is what's going to be doing is that you can select what type of materials you want. Now, they're also going to be improving some of the equipments and rebalancing them. That's very good. But honestly, they need to rebalance cavalry equipments because I feel like cavalry equipments, you know, you get a lot of value from the calves. And just by, you know, cheap crafting, you get so much value. Either they balance it out and make, you know, archers and infantry the same way as the calves to make it fair. But I feel like Cavs definitely gets a little priority uh, in the eyes of Lilith, in my opinion. Added a lot of new equipments. This is nice. I already know that there is going to be some added anyway. So this is not a surprise for me. Uh, being a sponsored content creator, we have access to the assets, uh, the pictures, the images, those kind of stuff. So I already know that there were new equipments coming out, but we weren't, you know, we don't know what is it for, what's the stat, just images. So I just know that there was coming up. So I'm really excited to see you know, the stats of these equipments. Um, adjusted equipment blueprint drops. This is very good for everybody. So if it's good for everybody, it means it's good for free to play and even better for the pay to wins. More and more blueprints, more chance to build, more chance to have equipments, right? Reduce the material cost of foraging for most elite and epic equipments. This is really nice. Some of the epics are really, really dope very good value sometimes the legendaries are not even worth building they're not worth having some of the legendary ones so definitely reducing the cost for elite and epic equipments is a very good update if you have forged such equipment will return extra consumed materials to you after the update so that's really nice we're going to get extra materials there now they're also going to be adding a new type of chest an equipment chest in a tavern and we have to find the keys in the event so this is very nice because, as you can see, the way we're going to be finding keys is through the events. So everybody can participate in this. It's going to be just like Golden Keys. I wonder if you can get it from, you know, just by defeating Bar Forts. I doubt it. I bet it's not going to be too easy to get, right? I don't think it's going to be, like, super easy, but it's fun, right? Um, they also are adding equipment material chests and equipment blueprint chests to the VIP shop. So like I said, with this update, now this is going to be benefiting who? This is going to be benefiting the pay to wins, right? Um, added super value geared up a, a bundle and remove old bundle for the hammer and anvil. So the hammer and anvil bundle, this is probably the last time that you are going to be seeing them. This is the last time. So now I wonder in that bundle is that if you're going to be getting some keys to open up the new equipment chest, I'm not sure. Um, they are optimizing some of the stuff in here for the light and darkness. I don't really care much about all the extra stuff, but I think the equipment is really big. I don't even understand this. Fix an issue that caused the poison effect inflicted by Tomir's skill to not show. So I guess it's going to start showing now on every single thing, which is very good. Um, 
commander uh, this one i hate commander talent trophy hunter now takes effect only when you defeat barbarian with the use of action points this is actually very very bad very bad like for the free to play for everybody i think it's very bad that they are fixing that if you don't know what a trophy hunter is it's the skill from the peacekeeper where you actually get rewards this one trophy hunter right whenever you defeat you get um what is it called like chest so that really sucks if you're using like low hard ysg you're doing some chain barbing you're not gonna get benefit on that one look how much i have right now i have 974,000 of this level one resource pack c so if you're one of those who are very diligent on doing chain barbs with low hard then you're not gonna benefit or even if when you're doing like april fled yeah i think i think they should have just let this one out and just didn't touch this one i think this is gonna hurt you know those who are really grinding so there's more things in here but i just want to highlight some of the things that caught my attention one thing that i want you to keep in mind is that there's two things in this update now if you think about it in a 360 point of view if it makes it easier for pay to wins then it is actually a disadvantage to free to play if you make things difficult to pay to wins and moderately okay with everybody then actually there's the balance right but if you keep free to play happy you make pay to win happy everybody happy so win-win scenario honestly honestly i like this update it helps us those who spend into the game to kind of hone into what type of you know equipment that we want to build honestly i like it um i am struggling with equipments and now i believe with this update is going to make it even better and make it even easier for us to hone in now by reading this you know sentence in here after an update we will take back all your unused equipment materials and compensate you with materials choice chess right so that's actually in pretty good so what does that mean um i have a lot of wait where's my material so these materials in here i'm not sure if this is how they're going to be doing things but they said if it's unused they're going to make them into a materials choice chest so i have a lot of unused in here man this is going to be dope so what i would do right now is i would definitely open these up there's you know crates and just let it sit right we're going to open these crates um, I don't really need to do this one because it's already in the materials choice chest. If they make everything in here into a materials choice chest, that's going to be insane. That is going to be really, really nice. Um, if you're a spender, you may want to consider buying the bundle, uh, the hammer and anvil before it's gone so that you can get these materials choice chests also. So it's up to you. Um, as you guys also saw, I did my recharge already, but I am not going to be maxing out on this bundle. As I said, I've been cutting down on spending 2020. It's it's happening. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, reach our targets, our goal, as what we have said in our videos. Anyway, Rockers, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this is a short and sweet kind of recap on the update. Sorry, it was kind of late. I had work yesterday. If you guys don't know my work, I work in a biopharmaceutical uh, making cancer drugs anyway if you guys appreciate what i do here on youtube um you know come subscribe and uh, turn that notification on and i'll see you again next time